Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R740 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on Windows Server operating systems. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R740 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Uh, this is gonna be uh, specifically focused to Windows Server operating system. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna show you how to install Windows Server locally onto your R740 server. Then we're gonna show you how to create a virtual machine and install Windows Server onto your virtual machine. And we'll also do a list of the compatible versions, the current compatible versions, I should say, for Windows Server operating system. So let's just uh, hop into the Windows Server operating systems. You have uh, 2012, 2016, 2019, and 2022. Those are gonna be uh, your current compatible Windows Server operating systems. Now do us a favor, if a new uh, version comes out in the future, drop a comment down below just to keep this video video up to date and let uh, viewers know what is compatible in the future. So now what we'll do is show you how to actually install it locally onto your server. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Windows Server. The first way I'm going to show you is how to install it locally onto your machine. And then the second way is going to be how do I create a Windows Server virtual machine with VMware ESXi. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we want to do is go ahead and boot up our server. And during post, we want to press F11 so we can enter into the boot manager. Now, once we're in boot manager, we wanna go ahead and press one shot UEFI boot menu. Now we, we want to scroll down and select our USB drive. And then this is gonna go ahead and load us into the Windows server installation. So once we're in the installation, we can go ahead and pick our language. So we're just gonna keep it at English, and then we're gonna click on Next, and then click Install Now. Once we're in here, we can go ahead and click the operating system that we want to install. So we're gonna go ahead and do the Windows Server 2019 Standard Evaluation Desktop Experience. And then we can go ahead and accept the license terms and then click on next. And then now we want to do a custom install. Since we're doing a fresh installation of Windows, we wanna go ahead and do this custom installation. Uh, but if you're just doing, uh, let's say you're upgrading a version of Windows, you wanna do the upgrade. Now right here, we want to go ahead and pick the drive that we want to install Windows onto. And then once we do that, we wanna click on next. So all we gotta do is wait this part through. So we're gonna go ahead and fast forward that and then we'll resume the rest of the installation. So once that is done, it's gonna go ahead and boot back into Windows Server. And then once it's fully booted back in, we can go ahead and set a password that we want to be on the built-in administrator user account. So this password can be whatever you want it to be, but I recommend you picking something that would be hard to guess, so your account will be secure. Once we've created our password, we wanna click Control-Alt-Delete and then type that password in so we can go ahead and log in. And there you have it. We have it successfully installed Windows Server 2019 locally on our server. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you how to create a Windows Server 2019 virtual machine in VMware ESXi. So we're just gonna go ahead and you can open up any web browser of your choice, and then we're gonna type in the VMware IP address. Once you've typed in that IP address, we're gonna go ahead and enter in the username and the password. Once you've logged in, you wanna go ahead and create a data store. And once you've created that data store, it'll be on the left side of the screen. So as you can see, we have data store one right here. Next, we wanna click on data store browser and then we want to click on create directory. And this is gonna be the directory that we're going to put our Windows Server ISO file into. So once we've made that, we wanna click on that, and then we wanna click on upload, and then we wanna select that Windows Server ISO file. And once we do that, this will go ahead and upload the file. So it may take a little bit of time for it to fully upload. So we're gonna go ahead and fast forward, and then once it's done, we'll go ahead and continue. 
so it's reached 100% so we can just go ahead and click on close and then now we want to click on virtual machines and then create slash register VM next we want to go ahead and click on next and then here we can give our virtual machine a name this can be anything you want it to be but I recommend it being somewhat descriptive of what the virtual machine is for now we want to pick an operating system family so this is going to be Windows and then now we want to pick the version so it's going to be Windows Server 2016 64 bit now we want to actually select that data store we just created and then click on next and then here we can actually choose our configuration so we can adjust the number of CPU cores the amount of memory we want to allocate towards this virtual machine plus a whole lot more we're gonna go ahead and leave it at the default but I do recommend you changing these settings um, before creating a Windows Server virtual machine especially if it's gonna be a very resource intensive virtual machine I recommend cranking up those CPU cores cranking up that memory um, increasing the amount of hard drive space um, and whatever else you need to do based off your application but we want to go down to this drop down next to CD slash DVD drive one we want to click on that drop down and then click on data store ISO file and then we're gonna to go to that directory we created earlier and click on the ISO file and then once we've done that just review all these settings and then click on next right here it'll be another overview of your settings so if you want to go ahead and review that once more you can but then you want to click on finish so now we want to click on our virtual machine and then click on the power on button once you've clicked power on a console window will pop up and this is our actual virtual machine so we can go ahead and start that windows installation process the virtual machine will automatically boot into that windows installation and as you saw from earlier in the video these are going to be the exact same steps that we took to do the windows installation the only difference is is instead of installing it locally we're installing it as a virtual machine so we're going to go ahead and just fast forward through the installation steps if you do want to go back through the installation steps i just recommend going back to earlier in the video where we went through those steps and then once we're done we'll go ahead and wrap this video up so just like before it's going to ask us to create a password for the local administrator account but once we've done that we can go ahead and log into the operating system and there we have it we have successfully created a Windows Server virtual machine as well as did a local installation of Windows Server directly on our server so if you found this video useful go ahead and leave a like and smash that subscribe and if you're interested in purchasing a custom-built server whether it's Dell HP Supermicro IBM Cisco we have plenty of those in stock so if you're interested in any of that go ahead and email us at sales at cloud that is sales at cloud take care